Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So, in today's video, I am celebrating one year here on YouTube. Yay, one year! Um, so, I just decided to do a little bit of a recreation of my very first video that I did here on YouTube. Um, it was so nerve-wracking filming my first video and I can tell that I've gotten a lot more confident um, than what I used to be. I had no idea what I was doing when I first started. I just wanted to get into it because it looks so much fun. And I really hope that um, you guys enjoy this video. I have noticed a lot of things that I used to do a year ago I did because everybody else is doing them on YouTube. And I'm slowly sort of finding my own voice and my own... Uh, way of doing things and just growing as a person has been really really good like from when I first started. Um, I hope to gain way more confidence than um, what I have now because I know that I have way more than when I first started which is really it's a really big thing for me because I still feel so awkward filming these intros and and doing these YouTube videos because I'm I'm not confident in myself um, but I want to be I want to be so I'm just gonna keep going keep learning and just keep doing what I love and hopefully one day I'll be on top of the world with everything so before I keep rambling like I usually do let's jump straight into the video so not all of the products that I used in the first video are going to be the same today just because I do have a bit of a fake tan on and some of those products like the foundation and everything I don't actually have anymore. I used it all up and I just never repurchased it. So a few things will be different but majority of the products that I do use today will be the same. So I know in my first video I applied this primer all over my face with my hands but I have come to taking that method out of my daily routine and I just like to apply my primer with the same brush I'm going to apply my foundation with. Okay, so I'm putting Peach Smoothie into my crease at the moment as a transition shade. And I really remember why I stopped using this colour. Um, I just feel like it's such an unnecessary step, unless you're doing a really light daytime look or something. I just feel like this colour doesn't show up and there's just no point doing it because you're going to layer colours over the top of it anyway. This used to be my absolute go-to transition shade. And do you know what? I think it's because I saw so many people using it. I don't even think it was because I generally loved it. I think it was because it was so hyped and everybody used peach smoothie in their crease. So I just did it too because then that, that's just, you know, I wasn't very good at makeup back then and I just wanted to learn. And that's just what I did. Okay, I give up on that shade. All right, okay. Let's go in with Chickadee. So this is a darker version of Peach Smoothie. A little bit more orange to it. And I'm going to put this exactly over the top of where I just put Peach Smoothie. You know, the one thing that I really hate about doing like talk through videos is the fact that I like to listen to music while I film and for copyright reasons and everything like that I can't have the music playing in the background so it's so quiet I'm just like talking to myself in front of this camera with no music or sounds or whatever in the background that's why I don't really do like talk through videos because one they're really long because I end up rambling and two I can't listen to my music most of the time I edit out my dancing and my other weird comments that I just say to myself and I literally just focus on the makeup. 
One thing that will never change about my eyeshadow application is this brush. It is the Napoleon, I think it's the BR16, it's a blending brush. And I used this in my very first video. I've been using this for ages. I use it on every one of my clients, everyone. It's such a good blending brush. It's so soft and fluffy and it just, it's perfect, all right? This, this brush is my life. If I was stuck on a desert island and I could only take one brush, one eyeshadow brush, it would be this one. Okay, now I'm going to go in with creme brulee. I'm just going to do that on the exact same brush because I'm just lazy like that and that means less brushes for me to clean. I'm just going to take it a bit lower than what I did with Chickadee, just more so in my crease. Now going in with a slightly smaller blending brush. This is the Zoeva 221 brush. Going in with Frappe. Just taking a little bit of that on my brush. Just take this lower again, just so it's right in my crease. I don't want to cover up those other colors that I just did, otherwise there is no point in doing them. We just want to have that nice gradient effect going from the lighter colors to the darker color as we get closer to our lash line. Not for bitten, so I'm going to take this all over my eyelid and then I'm just going to softly tap it across my eyelid. Now we're going to go back in and blend that colour out. Is this colour and browns. So why am I getting this weird like dark colour in here? It almost looks like a grey. Like from where I've, I've put this colour and blended it into the brown, it's gone grey, which is really, really strange. No wonder why I had so much trouble when I first started doing makeup. Like, I, I had no idea about any of this stuff, and I just thought I was shit at blending or whatever else, and I just went with it, because I was like, oh yeah, I'll just make it work, eh, but like, I don't know if it's really showing up on camera. But I can really see it and it's really bugging me. I can see my mistakes from the past and hopefully know that I will never use this colour ever again because it just it's gone weird. But you know what, it's makeup. And the good thing about that is that you can wipe it all off and you can start again and you can keep improving. I'm going to add some concealer underneath my eyes now because I have wiped away all of that extra fallout. Pretty sure I used a MAC concealer in my other video, but I no longer have that anymore. And you know what? All this time, I still forget to wet my beauty blender before I sit down. The struggle is real, people. The struggle is real. Violently pounds face to look beautiful. Uh, cold coffee. <laughs> Ooh, that wasn't nice. Okay. Anyway, this video is just a hot mess. What am I even doing with my life? Okay, gonna set my under eyes now. The Laura Mercier. Haven't used this powder in so long. And I think I know why, because 
it literally just soaked right up into that spot where I put it on. Okay, so I really remember why I don't use this powder anymore because it literally just soaked straight into my skin exactly where I put it. Instead of melting in and blending out like all my other powders do, it just went and sucked in and that's where it's staying. So now my forehead looks cakey, my under eyes look cakey. This is seriously like a hot mess. Like, is this recreating my first video or is this... Um, products that I hate video because it just I can see why I haven't used these things in a year okay so I used the give me some bronzer on my cheeks I still use this nearly every day most of the time what I do is just put the bronzer on just to warm up my cheeks a little bit I don't really contour that much anymore um, but I'm going to today because that is what I used to do Good old Revlon contour powder that I used to use religiously and I can see why I don't use it anymore because it's pretty much the same color as the Give Me Sun bronzer except for the Give Me Sun bronzer is a little bit more orange. I know that I didn't use this product back then because I had no idea what I was doing or even how to do I winged up eyeliner perfectly so I don't even know if I did a wing in my first video but you know what we're gonna do one now because wings are life and I don't go a day without doing a wing so we're just gonna do one I used to use a shit ton of highlighter even though I've kind of gone off it lately. I don't know, I just find that like every time I touch my face, I've just got sparkles all over my hands and I'm just like, oh, why? So I'm just so sick of having glitter like all over my face. Like, just stay in your assigned seat, please. Just don't move from there. So I'm using Nude Awakening by Napoleon. Now I'm also going to be putting Melted Matte Lipstick. I have not used this in forever. I don't know why because it's such a beautiful colour. Oh my god. Okay guys, so that is it. Thank you for um, coming with me on this little journey down memory lane. Um, yeah, I can see why like I don't use a lot of the products that I used to. Um, but that's okay like you know you grow and you learn and if you if you weren't learning and you weren't growing then what's the point it's all fun and it's makeup so you can wash it off at the end of the day and you can start again just want to say a big big thank you again to everyone that does support me and i have left the link to my very first video down below i know <sighs> um but you can go and watch it if you want to See, um, just where I was a year ago, so much can change in a year and I'm really, really happy with with where I'm at in life at the moment. It's, um, it's been a bit of a roller coaster, but um, yeah, just everything that I've learned in the past year, it's, it's yeah, it's changed me. Um, there's some people that I used to have in my life a year ago, there's things I used to be doing um, a year ago in my life and a lot has changed since then so um, I hope that that life just keeps going and and keeps changing and I keep growing and learning and meeting new people along the way and hopefully my skills have improved since I first started um, but yeah so thank you all for watching my video and I look forward to seeing you all next time bye